the biggest research challenges for universities will be driven by the major societal challenges that, that we face. And inevitably, I think for Europe, the two main challenges that come to mind are clearly the, the, the challenge of climate change, but also the challenge of how do you resume productivity growth, particularly in a post-COVID era, uh, at a time when it's absolutely imperative to get the economy uh, growing to, to deal with the, the burdens, not only of the fiscal uh, adjustment that we will have to make, but also because of the investment that is required to deal with, uh, with major challenges such as climate change. And I think one of the things that we've learned from the COVID experience is that uh, a challenge isn't simply about uh, a single discipline. I mean, COVID is a health challenge. It's a, you know, and, and, and the answer to it lies in the biomedical sphere to the actual pandemic. But in reality, we've learned very quickly that actually it's a, it's a multidisciplinary challenge. It's a, it's a challenge that will touch every aspect of what universities deal with. Nous avons l'obligation vis-à-vis de la société de développer une recherche qui puisse aussi répondre aux grands défis mondiaux. Pour cela, à l'Université de Paris, à travers l'initiative d'excellence française, nous avons créé des programmes interdisciplinaires qui traitent des sujets d'environnement, de santé, d'intelligence artificielle. Chaque année, nous attirons des chercheurs de haut niveau sur des profils interdisciplinaires. Nous lançons aussi des appels pour faire émerger de nouveaux projets interdisciplinaires qui trouveront leur financement ensuite dans des agences françaises ou des agences européennes de recherche. Pour nous, il est important d'avoir l'ensemble de ces disciplines et surtout de pouvoir les faire converger, mais nous savons aussi que l'interdisciplinarité se nourrit d'une très bonne recherche disciplinaire et évidemment, nous maintenons à la fois des financements pour les recherches disciplinaires de très haut niveau et nous travaillons sur l'interdisciplinarité. The pandemic really demonstrates uh, it's a living example of the role of fundamental research. That uh, you have a, um, um, a reservoir of knowledge that can be activated and mobilized in, time, in times of crisis. Um, that, I think there are numerous examples of how uh, basic fundamental research that was deemed irrelevant, not engaging with societal problems, that have become uh, core for addressing uh, uh, future societal uh, problems. So in that sense, I think the, the argumentation really is for, uh, for continued investment in, the, in basic research, in fundamental research, in curiosity-driven research. At the time of scarce resources, governments immediately start thinking of wanting to control the levers of where universities go. But we know that that's not how research or discovery works. Um, I think we know that wherever directionality is imposed uh, from top down, it doesn't tend to work very much because what tends to happen is that a lot of resources are expended at the translation of existing research, but you then do not replenish the pipeline with the, the, the really basic discoveries that you need to really make a difference to problems like climate change. You know, a problem like climate change will not be achieved simply by applying existing technologies it requires new ideas that there have to be priority areas clearly for innovation you know you can't spread your resources thinly but what you cannot do is impair basic research and therefore you cannot impose a top-down approach there needs to be much more collaboration between the commission in the case of europe between uh, bodies like the erc and the higher education institutions particularly those research intensive ones that are likely to come up with those discoveries basic discoveries that will have to be applied. I think that the countries which are not very well represented at this moment, they should really understand the philosophy of the ERC programs. Because as I said, they, there is only one way, groundbreaking uh, ideas, excellent PI. What our university, for example, wants to do for sure is to stimulate our colleagues to publish more in competitive journals so that they could test their ideas, so that they could attract uh, citations, rather than going very easy and quickly in more local or regional, or, uh, regional journals, for example. Also, what we want to do is to stimulate um, and open the university to many Romanians and encourage them to come back at the Babesh Boy University and then apply in different you know, programs at the European level. So there are many strategies, but again, I emphasize my main point that in the end, everything is about 
groundbreaking idea, creative idea, and excellent PI. How you reach that, it depends on the policy of different universities. And I don't think that the European Research Council should um, lower the standards in order to be more inclusive in this regard. 